He says, For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed. And he shall come in his own glory and in his Father's and of the holy angels. Some people hear the words of this book and they imagine its clear teachings are just suggestions. This past week, the Southern Baptist Convention met in Anaheim, California, didn't they? And they had this big uproar over uh, women pastors, a female pastor. Now, the Baptist faith and message clearly says there are no such thing as female pastors. The Bible clearly says there are no such thing as female pastors. Yet they were trying to get a group together to identify and define what a pastor is. Why? Because one of the biggest money makers in the Southern Baptist Convention decided he wanted to ordain three women as pastors at his church. Three women. Had them bowed down across the stage and laying the hands on them outside of what the Word of God says. Now let me tell you what, women can do many things that a man can't do, all right? Amen. But the Scriptures clearly teach us that the office of a pastor is for a, a male, right? Amen. And, and we, we follow that, correct? What's the problem? They're ashamed. The world out here just totally breaks free from that idea. Ooh, do we really have to say something like that? Because we'll offend the ladies. You understand? We'll offend them if we say they can't do this. I ain't saying they can't do this. God said he can't do this. God said it. Now, today, to preach against homosexuality, well, that's going to offend people. It's going to hurt people, right? They're going to get upset over these things. But what does the Bible say? What does it say? It, it says that that is a sin. The Bible says that living together outside of marriage is a sin. You understand? The Bible says these things. I can't be ashamed of what the Bible says. But a lot of people, a whole lot of people... A lot of people in the Southern Baptist Convention this past week, they're ashamed of what the Bible says, aren't they? Amen. And that's as clear as day. I don't mind to be ashamed before this world. If it brings shame on me to say what the Bible says, so be it, okay? Amen. So be it. These words offend people because they're, they're comfortable in their sins and they don't like being confronted with the truth. Perhaps this is why they constantly take these new Bibles and they try to delete words out of them or make you doubt them as you're reading them. Perhaps that's the reason in all that. I don't know. What I do know, if I'm going to be Christ's followers, His words have to come out of my mouth. And I can't be afraid to say them. Amen. I can't be afraid to say them. Why? I've, you know, I've preached and I've seen people get up and their wives have to set them back down when I'm talking. I've seen that. That makes a man a little anxious, okay? When you think this big 300-pound man is about to come up here on the pulpit. That makes people upset, you, understand, you know? It makes people upset. But I've got to say what the Lord told me to say, even though it makes me uncomfortable, because I don't want to be uncomfortable when my Lord comes and His holy angels with Him. Where do you want to be uncomfortable at? Do you want to be uncomfortable when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back in the clouds of glory? He looks you in the face and He says, Why didn't you warn them? Why didn't you tell them what my word said? Why didn't you get down there and speak clearly what my word clearly said? There's a lot of people ashamed of His words today. Church, I hope we're not ashamed of it. I hope we're not ashamed of it. I hope you're willing to speak it into others' lives, and I hope you're living it in yours because they're not going to hear you when you speak it if you're not living it. I hope you're enjoying the sermons here and have subscribed to my channel on YouTube, but I would love even more to meet with you in person at the church where I'm blessed to pastor at in White Pine, Tennessee, Omega Baptist Church.